Hi, I'm here to talk to you about seaburn defense. Every year during base exercises, hundreds of airmen are handed kill cards for incorrectly donning their individual protective equipment in a timely manner. When mission-oriented protective postures are elevated, military personnel have only minutes to don the proper IPE. With your help, we can empower airmen to change from MOP level zero to MOP level two in six minutes or less, and from MOP level two to MOP level four in two minutes or less. Really? All this gear? This looks difficult to put on. Have no fear, airmen, because that is exactly what I'm here today to explain. <laughs> In the event of chemical warfare, where gases are involved, the very first thing you want to put on is your protective mask. First, make sure you have your mask carrier with you. If you have any glasses or contacts, remove them before donning the mask. And don't forget to let your hair down. To start, remove your mask from the carrier. Be sure to close the dust flap. Place your chin in the mask. Next, use the head harness tab to pull the head harness over your head. Make sure it's as far down as it can go. Lastly, tighten the chin straps. And you're done. That wasn't so bad, was it? Okay, that's enough air. Put it back on. Now that we got the most important step out of the way, let's move on to our other protective gear. The chemical protective overgarment. First down the trousers. Make sure you place the suspenders over your shoulders as well and adjust the waistband as needed. Next, down the coat. Be sure to connect the retention cord at the bottom of the coat with the button at the bottom of the trousers and tie the cord you have left over into a bow. Good job. Next up, we need to don the hood. First, pull the hood over the top of your mask. Make sure the coat is completely sealed from the front. You may need a buddy for this. Remember, keep your hands on the mask when adjusting and make sure the Velcro is fastened all the way. And snap the barrel locks together. Now for the best part, boots. You may want to wrap a plastic bag around your boots to save your sanity. Be sure you button up the front as you put them on. Wrap the Velcro strap around the leg cuffs to ensure maximum protection. Last but not least, you need gloves. Be sure to put the white cloth gloves on first, followed by the black rubber glove. Tighten your cuff and you're good to go. Now remember, no matter which mop level you're in, you'll need to wear your body armor, helmet, and your mask carrier and you're done. This gear may take some time to put on at first, but with enough practice, you should be able to go from mop zero to mop four in eight minutes. Each level of mop has different guidelines for what level of protection to wear. In mop one, you don the suit, and in mop two, you put on your boots. In mop three, you put on your mask, and in mop four, you put on your gloves. Just remember, suits, boots, mask, gloves. For more information on mop gear and other hazards, contact your local emergency management office. With your help, we can save airmen from the perils of incorrectly donned mop gear. Now for the best part, boots. <laughs>